Persona soundtrack, we meet again. Today, today, I'm gonna be reacting to the very first Persona game soundtrack. People have been telling me, dude, you are missing out on these crazy bangers. Don't sleep on Persona 1 because of being the first game in the franchise. Well, today we're gonna listen to some of them, but this is all because of .txt. Yeah, this patron is a patron request. Thank you very much for your support. And well, if you are new here, I am a musician getting to know anime and video game soundtracks if this is your first video please check the channel we have plenty of video game soundtracks and persona reactions <sighs> let's get into this <laughs> First one today, we have School Days. School Days? Like the fucking anime? <laughs> Holy crap, man. <laughs> yeah, childhood memories, guys. Childhood memories. Mm. This sounds a little bit as Shantae, the genie's whatever OST. The vocals never miss. That's a fact. Wow, you know what is very interesting about the mixing of this song? We have the right those uh, synthesizers happening but in the chorus section or even better as the song progresses they start fading out crazy and very subtle how the volume levels change across the song you see it's much more upfront they are much more upfront now they are a little bit more quiet Why for the vocals to uh, have more emphasis? Oh, also some dope keyboards? Really tasty, man. Listen how now the synthesizers are even more quiet. Or quieter. However you say that. The choir is supporting those synthesizers now. Well, not the choir, the supporting vocals. Wow, you see? It's subtle, but it's noticeable. If I am not mistaken, Persona 1 was playable on PS1, right? Huh. Oh, holy. It's so freaking enjoyable. Wow, it may sound like an usual quite of hanging around track, but it has something very intriguing, very particular going on. That the second part of the chorus is in charge of the supporting vocals. The lead vocalist is muted there. She's not singing anything or maybe she's, but her volume level is the same as the supporting vocalists. Wow. I think she says uh, something, a little phrase at the end of that second uh, chorus, but... Or not? Everything from the second half of the chorus is in charge of the supporting vocalists. And a classic fade out, okay. I think that is a risky move, but uh, honestly, I'm not complaining, man. 
it's something different and i like to see variety also if we are thinking about the time the year that this game came out it's even more bold it's an even more bold statement for the composer to do holy holy okay i like courageous people now we have a lone prayer and it seems there was a, a persona one remake of psp from what i can see and well this is the last one of the video yeah we had a quickie today but uh, it had to happen sometime if you want me to check more of this soundtrack let me know in the comments man support this video show love for this freaking ost and it will come back guaranteed let's go Oh! <laughs> oh! No way! What a fucking good introduction! I love it! I don't even know how the cuts were. Let me hear again. That was so beautiful! Oh, it's da 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 No, I cannot, man. I cannot memorize it from the get-go. That syncopation is crazy. Ah, it's in the two end. Okay, last time, last time. Last try. Ah, ah, ah. It's a freaking dope. Well, I didn't do it exactly, but it was quite close. It was quite close to the actual rhythm going on. That syncopation, bro. It's the elixir of life, let me tell you. More cuts. And the bass is a synth bass. Persona games were always looking into the future. I thought this was gonna be a more aggressive track, but it's... It's quite energetic, but... Uh, on the happy side. Oh. oh! Oh, no way! I needed more! No? It's not happening anymore. Something really curious and really dope that is happening is that the overall time feel that the introduction is giving us feels a little bit um, faster than the actual time feel we are getting for the from the rest of the song from the verse, pre-chorus and chorus because the normal feeling of the of the introduction is like well, I did it wrong again, but you know what I meant. But now, in the rest of the song... Well, not the rest of the song, because the chorus is as well a little bit fast. But, comparing it with the verse, look at this. Now this seems to be the beat. It's crazy. And now the chorus. Again, again the same kind of time feel that we had in the introduction. Freaking clever. You can have one song and make it feel slow or fast without even changing the tempo. Lovely. And kind of a breakdown. Oh. Bro, and that synth bass or synth, it's a medium low synthesizer. Pam, 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 pam. Uh, how was it? It's so tasty. Wait, wait, wait a little bit. It's 
It's bam, 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 bam. It sounds like a clave. Clave are generally rhythm patterns used mostly in, or at least I know them originated in Latin music and or jazz. And they are like the bone structure of a song in terms of rhythm. They determine how will the song's rhythm organization be. Wow. So freaking tasty. Oh wait, since this is the remake, maybe this song wasn't on the original Persona one. This is not fair at all. We are rioting. We should have an extended version of this, man. You cannot do such a banger of a fucking song and only have it to be less than two minutes. That's a crime. I don't know. I did more of this in my life. I'm begging you. Tell me suggestions. For now, it's over. Have a blast of a day, night, whatever it is. See you next time. Peace. <laughs>